We are sure that you have successfully completed the five sections air, energy, food, land and water. Gear up for the waste section. Time to get your hands dirty. Not literally though. The main theme of this year's audit is solid waste management. The objective is to create zero waste zones in every school in the country. In this section, schools will observe their solid waste practices and infrastructure to manage their solid waste. We will take you step by step on how to complete the waste section. Let's start by opening the page www.greenschoolsprogram.org and then select waste section. If you are using the print version of GSB audit manual, then turn to page 34. Let's come to task 1. A teacher with interest in waste and 5 to 10 students will be ideal for your team. The housekeeping and cleaning staff of your school shall be the core members of your team as you will have to enlist their help at every task. Administrative staff is important as they will provide the permissions required for the housekeeping staff to work with you. Do fill in the date when your team starts this exercise. Ok, now that we have a team ready, let us look at the responsibilities of this team. This section is designed to find out what kind of waste your school generates, whether your school practices segregation at source and how different types of waste is recycled, reused or responsibly disposed. The results will help your school to understand how efficiently waste is being managed within the school premises. And last but not the least, your school's initiative for sensitization in and around your school. Task 2 is designed to know the system of waste segregation in your school. Depending on the circumstances in your school, tick either yes or no for question 1. For example, if your school practices waste segregation, tick yes and if it does not, then select no. If your answer to question 1 is yes, there are two more parts to the question that you need to answer. For task 3, the waste audit team will have to find out the types and the quantity of waste generated within the school premises. This task has two separate tables. The first table is to record the type and quantity of waste generated and the other deals with the solid waste collection system in your school. Now remember, this is a month-long exercise which will require detailed notings of the quantity of each type of solid waste generated in your school. Few types of waste like biomedical or e-waste will be generated annually. So the team will have to refer to last year's waste generation records and convert it into monthly average. The second table is to record waste collection points in your school. Be specific in recording the numbers of bins in each type of room, classroom, staff room and also common area. In task 4, you will have to document all your reuse, recycle practices related to solid waste management. This task has three sections. The first section deals with the total quantity of waste that your school treats or recycles. The second section explores the composting facility in your school, while the third section encourages you to reuse textbooks. Table 4 is to record whether your school follows recycling procedures. Keep in mind that this exercise requires detailed information. Hence, it can take two weeks to document the necessary information. Task 5 exclusively deals with the disposal of e-waste generated by your school. Table 5 should be filled only after conducting a detailed survey about the electronic items used by your school as well as electronic items which are out of order or lying in the storeroom. This section 
is also designed to understand the submission of hazardous and toxic waste to authorized dealers and dismantlers. For example, if your school knows that e-waste can be collected by authorized dealers and dismantlers, then tick yes. And if the schools does not have any information about the authorized dealers in your area, then select no. In this section, you will have to share the final destination for the waste that could not be recycled or reused. Does the waste go to a designated landfill and dumping site or is your school practicing open dumping or does your school manage solid waste by just burning it? It is important to appreciate the initiatives taken by the management on issues related to waste. The waste audit team has to take an appointment with the chairperson, manager or principal of the school. Ask them the following questions related to school's initiative for managing solid waste. For example, if your school has a waste policy, then tick yes. And if the school does not have any, then select no. If the school organizes awareness drives on reuse, recycle and reduce, then tick yes or select no. For all your answers in yes, do not forget to upload pictures, but in low resolution. Congratulations! Now you know how to carry out the waste audit. The audit helps schools to reduce generation of waste and sending minimal waste to landfills. The result will help schools to understand how efficiently waste is being managed within the school premises. Every bit of information that you fill into this section will go a long way in the pursuit of making India clean. Swachh Bharat. Take care and goodbye.